Hello and welcome to today's video. My name is Joanny. If you are new to my channel, welcome. On today's video, I'll be reviewing the movie Thanksgiving, which opened this weekend. Thanksgiving was directed by Eli Roth. Eli Roth is a very respected director and master of horror and gore. He's also an actor. He was in Inglorious Bastards, which I really loved. He was an actor in that, but he directed Hostel, which terrified me. And because of that movie, I didn't want to go to Europe for a while. Uh, he also directed The Green Inferno, which I, I enjoyed. It wasn't terrible. He directed Knock Knock with, with Keanu Reeves. Uh, Cabin Fever and a bunch of other movies. Out of all of those, I enjoy Cabin Fever a little bit. It's like in between. Really enjoyed it and it freaked me out, but it was a good film. And Hostel, of course. And now Thanksgiving, which has added to the gore filmography of his. So here's the plot to Thanksgiving. After a Black Friday riot ends in tragedy, a mysterious Thanksgiving-inspired killer terrorizes Plymouth, Massachusetts, the birthplace of the infamous holiday. Uh, I am going to give some spoilers because I don't know how to talk about a movie without giving spoilers. So if you're not into spoilers, I suggest that you go watch the film and come back and then tell me if you liked it or you didn't. Or if we agree. Uh, but just FYI, I'm letting you know right now, I'm about to spoil this movie, okay? So, just like it says on in the plot, Thanksgiving takes place in Massachusetts. There's this huge um, store a la Walmart, but it's not Walmart. I forgot the name of it. But they were having a Black Friday sale, and the whole movie, everyone's like waiting outside for it to open because the first 100 people that were going in were getting a waffle maker. And people are just like getting angry because they want to get their waffle maker. Anyways, uh, it follows this girl named Jessica and her friends. Because Jessica is the daughter of the guy that owns the, the Walmart store. It's not Walmart. It's another Mart store. But Jessica's the daughter. So on her way to somewhere to the movies with her friends, they stop by the door and they go in through the back door. Because they want to get some stuff. And while they were there, they were like arguing. One of the guys, one of her friends was arguing with another guy that was part of the crowd waiting to get in. And everyone's already like angry. So when they go inside, her friend is like just kind of gloating. Uh, look at me inside, yada, yada, yada. So that kind of triggers the mob to like get angry. And they storm through the store. The doors break and just everyone starts dying because people are just like running over each other, glasses cutting people's necks, some lady got her hair ripped out and died. Uh, it was a tragedy. People were dying left and right. So the movie fast forwards a year and now there's a killer on the loose and he's trying to kill everyone that was involved in the, um, in, in the riot that night uh, but most specifically Jessica and her friends because because of her going inside before everyone and then just gloating that they were inside that was what triggered the mob to get angry and storm into the store so the killers after her and her friends uh, the movie was actually really good. I really enjoyed it. Even though before watching the movie, I watched a, a review, like a spoiler review, and they spoil who the killer was. But even like knowing who it was, I was like, wait a minute, how can it be him? Because there's this one scene when um, the killer, I'm going to tell you who the killer is. <laughs> okay, the killer's a part of the police officers. Uh, so because all her friends are dying they're trying to keep an eye on them so they went to the school to get something and the police officer is outside talking to another police officer but then there's somebody inside chasing two of the people jessica and two of them trying to kill them so i was like how is it him so it threw me off a, a few times it threw me off so props to eli who was also one of the writers because even knowing the killer going in, it threw me off. And I was like, no, it cannot be him. 
so that was pretty good. The kills, they were really gore, gory. There's this one kill though that I was like, how did that happen? Some lady, a waitress who was like running around and she, um, I think she pushed someone out of the way that ended up dying and you can see her in the camera like, look at me, I got my thing. Um, so the guy went after her and he started chasing her in a car with uh, he was driving in the car and started chasing her and she and he like hit her and she landed on the trash can but then like her half of her body was inside and the other half was out like dangling outside and the top of the trash can closed and it caught her in half i was like how <laughs> Unless the top is made out of like steel, but or sharp steel. I don't know how that happened because I was thinking, I was like, wait a minute, aren't those top made out of plastic? How did that cut her in half? I don't know how that happened, but they like it was really gross. They show her insides, and then the killer takes her bottom half and hangs it on the store for everyone to see, and everyone's like panicking. Then he kills one of her friends. He, yeah, he kills one of her friends and her dad. The dad's friend. Like, her dad is this... Oh, oh, I'm sorry. I just touched the mic. I keep forgetting that I have this mic. Anyways, the dad is this... Um, he's Russian and he, like, grabs her after everyone's dying. He's like, let's go. We're going to Florida. So he's, like, dragging her to Florida. And when she's packing in her house, there's a police officer in her house. And somehow, the, of course, I mean, he's a police officer. So he gets in, kills the girl, kills the dad, the guard, the police officer that was guarding the house. And then the girl as well. Then he roasts the wife of the owner of the store. He roasts her in an oven. He puts her in an oven and turns it on and make, turns her into a turkey and cooks her alive. Well, she... She dies, but she was in there alive, and it was so gross to see this lady just melting. Ugh, it was sad and gross. But she, she was kind of annoying. It was because of her that the store opened on Thanksgiving, um, cause she told she's like the new his the owner of the store. His wife died, and he remarried this lady who was so annoying. Um, so she made him open the store on Thanksgiving to like get more money. I mean, you know, get more sales. So she got cooked alive, which she deserved because she was awful. <laughs> but overall, this was a really entertaining film. Like I will, uh, the theater I went in, everyone was jumping and I was even covering my face because sometimes those, there was this one guy who got decapitated. Oh, T Tim Dillon is in this. He was really funny. Comedian Tim Dillon. He, he gets decapitated. Yeah. Because he's, um, he gave a shout out to the Dominican Republic. He was like, oh, I'm packing because I'm going to the Dominican Republic. And he's like, his friend was waiting outside. He was taking him to the airport and here comes the killer. And he decapitates him and kills him, which was funny. He kills him because he was a security guard. And then when the mob just started rushing in, he like ran off and he's so like, I'm not dealing with this. And he ran off and, got, and was scared. You know, this was just like one of those slashers, good slasher. He wasn't trying to be extra. He was just doing his thing, his Eli Roth gory thing. And I really enjoyed it because even going in knowing the killer, I was still like, wait a minute, who is the killer now? So he threw me off a few times. So, and everyone in, in the theater was jumping and like talking <laughs> and just, it was a nice experience. It was nice to see it with like a crowd and people reacting and being like, Oh my God, girls, I'm going there. Those are the type of movies that I enjoy uh, when they invoke reaction from everyone. Anyways, this was a fun movie. I highly recommend it. I feel like it's another classic, another, it be, it's going to become another Halloween classic. Uh, the mask that he wears, there's this one time. It's, uh, his mask is uh, the mask of like a pilgrim and... It looks fine, but then there was one that he looks so creepy because he puts when he's like about to cook the lady in the oven, he places the mask on top of the oven, the oven, and it melts and it kind of melts and it looks so 
weird and like scary there's a um episode of tiger belly where eli roth was there that he was talking about the mask and creating the mask and what they wanted to do with it we tried like five different or ten different masks and you 3D print them, and then you just look at the pilgrim hat, and then the shape, and you start to get what they call the silhouette. So uh, that was a really scary thing after it got burned. So at the end, the killer doesn't die, obviously, because they never do. I feel like if this movie is doing well this weekend, it'll probably get a second one, which I'm curious to see where they take it, actually, because three people made it. Three people didn't die, so there's an explosion at the end and the killer is in this explosion but we never see him they never find him we just see the thing blow up and he's still inside but then when the police got there the the rest of the police they were like oh we looked everywhere there's no one here there's no way he could have survived that explosion uh but we never see him a lot i mean dead or alive uh, the last scene is Jessica having this nightmare that like he comes from her closet and, and grabs her, but it's just a dream. So who knows where they'll take this for uh, Halloween too? No Halloween, Thanksgiving too. So I feel like this is the uh, this is this might be the Thanksgiving classic horror movie that. Um, that we need i mean we don't need one but we got one now anyways this was a great movie i really enjoyed it it was a lot of fun to watch i highly recommend it if you're looking for a good film uh, a good entertaining horror film uh it's a lot of fun watch it with a full theater and i gave it three stars on letterbox so if you do go see it come back here and tell me your thoughts if you liked it if you didn't do you agree with me uh, was it stupid? I don't know. Tell me down below. Uh, share your thoughts. And that is the review. Thank you so much for watching. I hope you enjoyed this review. If you did, please subscribe to the channel. Thank you to 700 subscribers. I have been working so hard on this channel. So it's nice to see that people are connecting with my content and are enjoying my videos enough to subscribe. So thank you to my new subscribers. Uh, and if you want to see more reviews or New York City content or uh, traveling content, subscribe, come back next week. I post videos every week. So I hope you have a great day or night wherever you are in the world. Until next time, bye.